shortly after their retirement. Uh, President Buhari so surprisingly nominated the nation's ex-service chiefs as non-career ambassadors. This move has been perceived by many as a reward for loyalty. Our correspondent, Desti Mama, has more. The role of a non-career ambassador is political. In Nigeria, the president has the right to appoint veterans as non-career ambassadors because of their unique talent or expertise. In this case, President Muhammad Buhari's nomination of Nigeria's immediate past service chiefs as ambassadors has been perceived in some quarters by yes. People consider them to have been incompetent, and uh, which prompted the white outcry, white public you know, outcry and demand for their removal. It seems to me that there is something that these people know that the president thinks he, he needs to keep them happy. These are people who, as you know, are subjects of investigation before the International Criminal Court. If you are compensating them with this, what about other generals that fought with them? What about other officers, colonels, that are also retired right now, that fought with them, that made them to even sit on that seat and dish out orders that were carried out? What about the soldiers that died? What about their families? What are you going to do? How can you be selective in compensation? Compensation has not been properly defined. Earlier, many Nigerians had called for a rejigging of the nation's security architecture due to the spate of insecurity. If the Senate approves the president's request, the retired service chiefs will now become non-career ambassadors designate. Meanwhile, President Buhari's extension of the tenure of the current Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, by three more months has also been described as a glaring case of favoritism. I feel it's a scam. Because how would you say you, 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 you prolonged the tenure of the IGP? Whereas the record is there. I think it's the right time for him to, for him to give someone else a chance so that we we'll make a fresh start. By February 1, 2021, Retired IGP, IGP Adadamu was supposed to have left office. I ought to have honorably, honorably left, but we, we saw him still sitting tight in office and the president uh, endorses that illegality by extending his tenure contrary to the, the police act that he signed. In all, the underlying message here is that carbon insecurity and restoring peace to the nation should be the president's priority. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.